Hello everyone and welcome to another video of Matok Lasan. In this video, we'll talk about some of the basic concepts that we'll be needing when studying trigonometry. Do you know that the trigonometry was already widely used over 2,000 years ago by the Greeks to measure angles and triangles precisely? And many famous mathematicians explored this study because of its practical use. Euclid of Alexandria, also known as the father of geometry, brilliantly used angles to define the measurements of triangles. Pythagoras of Samos and his members introduced the Pythagorean theorem to solve the sides of any triangle, while Hero or Hieron of Alexandria gives the area of a triangle when the length of all three sides are known, and Hipparchus, who was a Greek astronomer, geographer, and mathematician, is considered the founder of trigonometry because of his many contributions to the subject. And probably you notice that I always mention the word triangle since the beginning of the video. It's because the word trigonometry was derived from the two Greek words trigonon and metria, which means triangle and measurement respectively. So literally, trigonometry means measurements of triangles, and it is used extensively in astronomy, surveying, navigation, and engineering. To better understand triangles, we need to define angles first. And in geometry, angles are formed by intersecting two rays. And this intersection is called the vertex. We can use capital letters to represent or name angles. In this case, we have angle B. But sometimes, angles are adjacent. So it is also important to use three capital letters. So in this example, we have angle A, B, C. Now, the amount of space or rotation that is covered by these two rays is the angle measure. There are many angular units that we could use to measure the triangle. But in a trigonometry, we often use degree and region measure. The most common device that we use to measure angles is the protractor. There are different types of angles. When the measure is between 0 to 90 degrees, it's called acute angle. When the measure is exactly equal to 90 degrees, then it's called right angle. If it's greater than 90 but less than 180 degrees, it's called obtuse. An angle having an exact measure of 180 is called a straight angle. If it's greater than 180 but less than 360, it's reflex. And the angle is said to be complete if its measure is one rotation or 360 degrees. Angles are complementary if the sum of their measures is equal to 90 degrees. Here, the two angles are complementary because 58 degrees plus 32 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. Well, the two angles are supplementary if their measures is equal to 180 degrees. These two angles are supplementary because 135 degrees plus 45 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. We have a tendency to interchange the two concepts, so I use mnemonics to remember them. For complementary, I just put a line here on the word complementary for me to remember that it should be equal to 90 degrees. Can you see it? Yes, and for supplementary, I remember this line so that it's equal to 180 degrees. Kind of effective to me. If we need to determine the measure of each angle described, the complement of 47 degrees is 43 degrees. Why? Because 90 degrees minus 47 degrees is 43 degrees. Now, the supplement of 115 is 65 degrees. Since it's supplement, I need to subtract 115 from 180 degrees. So by doing this, we'll have 65 degrees. And how about the complement of 71.2 degrees? The complement is 18.8 degrees by subtracting 71.2 from 90 degrees and since this is a supplement it's subtracted to 
180 degrees and the answer is 136.5 degrees. In this problem, we need to find the missing value of x. At para magawa natin yon, dapat i-observe natin mabuti yung given natin. So, kung makikita nyo dito sa given natin, yung kabilang side ay 90 degrees na. Ngayon, kung 90 degrees ito, malamang itong kabilang side na to ay 90 degrees din dahil ito ay straight angle. Okay? So, ibig sabihin kung 90 degrees ito, pwede nating sabihin na yung sum ng x at ng 55 degrees ay equal saan? Sa 90 degrees. And to solve for x, we just need to transpose the value 55 degrees on the other side of equation so that x is equal to 90 degrees minus 55 degrees. So, the value of x is 35 degrees. So, in this problem, we need to find the missing angle x. Here, we can assume that this is a straight angle. And a straight angle has 180 degrees. And we all know that these two adjacent angles now are supplementary. Now, since they are supplementary, we can say that x plus 165 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Transposing this value to the other side of equation will give us x equals 180 degrees minus 165 degrees. Now, subtracting these two values will give us 15 degrees. So, x is equal to 15 degrees. Dito naman, kailangan natin hanapin yung angle DBC. Okay? So, kagaya ng mga assumptions natin kanina, mapapansin natin na itong ABC ay straight angle. Tama? So, ang measure nito ay equal sa 180 degrees. Therefore, yung measure ng angle DBA, eto yon DBA, at yung measure ng angle DBC ay equal lang saan? Sa 180 degrees. Tama. So, ibig sabihin, ang assumption natin ngayon para sa equation natin, 7Q minus 46 degrees plus 3Q plus 6 degrees ay equal sa 180 degrees. Pero para hindi tayo mahirapang mag-solve, no? tatanggalin na muna natin itong mga degrees na to. Okay? Pwede natin gawin yun kasi pare-parehas naman yung mga units natin na nasa degrees. Ngayon, kailangan na nating hanapin yung Q para ma-solve natin yung measure na hinahanap natin which is angle D, B, C. And to do that, we need to combine like terms on the left side of the equation. So, 7Q plus 3Q is equal to 10Q. And negative 46 plus 6 is negative 40. So, that will have an equation like this. Ang gagawin natin ngayon, itatranspose natin yung 40 sa kabila for us to have 10Q equals 180 plus 40. And this will give us 10Q equals what? 220. Now, since 10Q is equal to 220, all we need to do now is to divide both sides by 10. Doing this, we'll have Q equals 22. Ngayon, hindi pa yan yung measure ng angle DBC. Yan yung measure ng Q. So, paano natin mahanap ngayon yung measure ng angle DBC? Substitute lang natin yung Q dito sa 3Q plus 6. So, 3 times 22 plus 6 will give us what value? Yes, it will give us 72. Tama? Pero alam natin kanina na ito ay may unit na degrees. So, kung ano man yan, ang sagot natin dyan na 72, kailangan natin lagyan ng degrees. So, that the measure of angle DBC is in terms of degrees. And we now do the value of angle DBC as 72 degrees. But what if I will ask you to find the value of angle DBA? There are two ways to do that. The first 
solution is for you to substitute Q, which is 22, on this given. But the easier way is to use the properties for supplementary angles. We all know that angle ABC is a straight angle, so we can definitely measure or get the measure of angle DBA by subtracting 72 from 180 degrees. So therefore, the other angle is 108 degrees. And that's all for this video. If you want more Taglish Math tutorials, please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. See you in the next video.